Are there homes available at affordable prices with monthly costs that can be managed on a fixed income? How about if you're not quite yet 55? The answer is yes. Stay tuned. In this video, we will show you two homes in a nice park at prices those on fixed income should find attractive. This community also allows a limited number of buyers under 55. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that fulfills their dreams and meets their needs. Let's dig in. If you have questions or thoughts you want to share about the contents of this video, please leave them in the comments below. If you want to help the channel grow, just click on Super Thanks. Okay, back to the show. The park is located in West Melbourne. It is about 55 miles to the Orlando airport. You can take the back road and be at Disney in about an hour and 20 minutes. The nearest beach is around 15 minutes away. This area is a great place to have a home if you love the beach. It's only about 15 minutes over the bridge to Canover Beach Park. The north side is people only, but on the south side it offers a dog beach. There are literally miles of beach to explore along this area. Some are just a parking lot at the end of an access road and others are full-blown public beaches with facilities and even restaurants. Shopping starts at Meriden Square, the largest shopping center in the area. Swing into one of dozens of restaurants while you're out shopping. Just two exits down is one of my favorite stores, the Bass Pro Shop. They have great fishing tackle, rugged outdoor clothing, and they also stock my favorite licorice. If golf is your game, there are many public courses in the Melbourne area. Crane Creek Reserve is right down the street from the mall, so maybe you could drop the wives off while you and your buddies shot a quick nine holes. Melbourne has a great number of attractions and a beautiful historic downtown. The area offers a lot for both adults and those visiting grandchildren. Major medical care is available at the Holmes Regional Center. This is a huge facility and is surrounded by the offices of many medical specialists. Several major airlines fly out of Melbourne, making air travel very convenient. Now let's go take a look at the community. Village Glen is a land lease community operating under FS723 as a prospectus park. It is owned by Lakeshore Communities and is listed at 143 lots. It is a 55 plus community, but under the 80-20 rules set by HUD, home ownership is allowed by adults 40 years or older, subject to availability. The property has a mix of double and single wide units. There are some vacant lots. Currently, the park owner has a new three bedroom double wide on order, and this will be sold once it's installed. The park is clean, orderly, and well kept. The clubhouse has a festive look. There is a large rec hall with plenty of seating. Billiards and ping pong are among the activities available here. There is a workout area and library for residents to use. The laundry area is spacious, clean, and set up for those that need it. The pool sure looks inviting, but Molly's waiting to show us some homes. Let's go. That clubhouse looks immaculate. I can't get over how neat and well-kept this park is. The homes are nicely landscaped, and while many are older homes, they appear to be maintained and in good shape. It's really quite a variety from vintage single wides to modern double wides. Well, we're here. Hey, hey Molly. How you doing? Good, you? Doing good. Hey, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to show us these homes. I like that fridge. 
The refrigerator has French doors and a lot of storage. The kitchen is very large. There is plenty of cabinet space for extra storage. Molly, tell the folks who you are. Hi, I'm Molly Buck. I work with Four Star Homes. I've been an agent in this area for about three years now, and I love helping people find homes. Thanks, Molly. The double sink and dishwasher are nice features. There's space in the kitchen to put a nice dinette set so your wife can eat while you're cooking. Plus, there's additional serving countertop and storage for china. I like the open concept for entertaining. I'm always in the kitchen, and it's great to be able to talk to the guests. And there's even more storage on this side. This would also make a wonderful bar. That's a nice color flooring in the living room. So the guest bedroom's back here, huh? The second bedroom is located on the west side of the home with a large walk-in closet and a ceiling fan. I like the color. It looks like it was just painted. The flooring in here is nice too. Let's look at the guest bathroom. The guest bathroom features a shower tub combo as well as vinyl flooring. Oh, and there's a porch too. Here's the Florida room. It features vinyl windows so you can weatherproof. Out that back door would be a great place for a picnic table. It certainly would, Russ. There you go. It steps out to the front porch where you can put a nice rocking chair. And I would too. That'd be a great place for a coffee break. And I assume the master bedroom's on the other end. The master bedroom has plenty of natural light, vinyl flooring, a ceiling fan, a large walk-in closet, and leads right into the large master bathroom. It's nice and cool in here. The home includes central air. The master bathroom features a shower as well as a garden tub. It also has a nice vanity mirror combo with lots of extra storage. There's also additional storage in the side cabinet. And what's behind that other door? This is a large walk-in closet. This is a nice looking house, Molly. It's kind of a Goldilocks size for an older couple. Are the washer and dryer included? The home includes a washer and dryer with a utility closet. Nice to have an awning over the back door for rain. There's that central air conditioning unit. Looks like you could park two vehicles in the driveway. I do like that front porch for just sitting and watching the world go by. You can tell how big the Florida room is from the outside. Plenty of room in back for a picnic or for the grandkids to play in. All in all, a very nice house. Let's head over to the other house and then we'll cover the lot rent and expenses after we tour that one. I'm just amazed at the amount of pride you see in the landscaping and yard care of these homes. The homes themselves look well maintained too. Wow, look at that muscle car. I wonder if they're involved with the muscle car museum right down the road. I could drive around all day just looking at what some of these folks have done with these vintage homes. Some of them have a lot more character than the modern ones. This is a great park for snowbirds. Well, here we are. Hi Russ, I'm on the phone. Go on in, get out of the heat. Okay, I guess the door must be open. Let's go take a look. So in this home, you come into the hallway, which takes you left to the living room and kitchen. The kitchen features lots of extra storage and if you're into cooking, a gas stove. Oh, there's another room through here. Wow, it looks like she had a hair salon here. Yes, she did. This could be more storage. Yes, you could also use it as an office, a study, or just an extra place to hang out and watch TV. I do like that the kitchen is open to the living room. The living room area is carpeted with an overhead fan. Second bedroom would make a great office, or you could put bunk beds in there for the grandkids. It is large enough for a double bed. That looks a little crowded. The bathroom features large vanity, a shower tub combo with extra storage. The master bedroom has lots of windows and it's very colorful. It features a good size closet. I think you could put a queen size bed in here. Let's go look at the outside. I see they had some more hanging storage here. The house features full size washer dryer hookups. Yes, it has a screened in porch, so it's not 
not weatherized. Yes, the storage shed is attached to the home with a large water heater. The home features double parking with a carport. It is a big carport. I like the little side yard. You could put a picnic table and an umbrella up there. I see there's also a storage shed toward the back. And those palms provide a little privacy and some shade for that front room. All in all, a nifty little home. Village Glen is a clean and well-managed community. Lot rent includes a swimming pool, clubhouse, fitness equipment, and library. At the time of the showings, the lot rent is $607.87 per month. Thanks to Molly Buck and Four Star Homes for showing us these properties. A special thanks to Carol Farmer, the community manager at Village Glen for her hospitality. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel grow. If you would like more videos on this topic, just click on the link. Thanks for watching and see you next time.